Hey everyone, it's Coot here. You'll never guess where I am. I'm not in LA, which is where I live. Guess where I am? Take a look around. 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 You guess yet? I'm in Bali. <laughs> I mean, that's right. I'm in Bali, Indonesia. One of my favorite places on the planet. And if you haven't been to Bali, let me tell you, it's, I don't know if what you see actually captures the magic and the mystery of this place. I feel as though every time I'm in Bali, the, the filter, you know, the filter between this reality and the mystery is so thin that you can literally pop into that mis that mystery the magical dimension of life is is so available here the mystery the sky everything is like right there magic happens in this place so wherever you are listening to this video i send you love from bali indonesia and i literally just got done with the third number three boundless bliss bali journey and i'm full of awe I'm full of wonder, I'm full of humility, I'm full of mystery, that I get to experience the magic of this journey twice a year, where these incredible, we had 18 souls from all around the world fly in from Cayman Islands, from Bulgaria, from France, from Canada, from America, from all over Europe, literally fly in to be a part of this journey. And let me tell you, if you don't believe in miracles, and if you never believed in miracles before, what I got to experience, and I grew up seeing miracles my entire life. My father's a miracle worker. I grew up seeing the blind see, the deaf hear, uh, you know, the, the crippled get straightened, those who couldn't walk, walk. I grew up seeing miracles my entire life, but the miracles I got to see over the last 11 and a half days on the Boundless Bliss Bali journey was literally beyond anything I have seen. I'm not saying people got their eyesight back. I'm not saying people with no legs started walking. Because to me, that's nice. But the real miracle, the real miracle is the ability to forgive oneself and tap into greater levels of compassion. The real miracle is letting go of old relationships and the past and being stuck in a prison of personality and who you thought you were. The real miracle is being willing to open your heart wide open and love so big even though you've been betrayed and abandoned and rejected over and over and over again. The real miracle is when you see who you really are beyond the illusion, beyond the identities, beyond the personality, when you see your true face. To me, this is the mi real miracle. And this was the miracle I got to witness and participate in over the last 11 and a half days. I mean, it was beyond anything I could imagine. This is literally one of my favorite things that I get to do twice a year on this journey. And it's amazing. So I ask you, what is the miracle? What is the miracle that you would like to experience in your life? What is the miracle that you would like to experience in your life? Take a moment and think about that for a second. What is it? Some of you might be thinking, some of you may have already given up thinking, ah, oh, my dream's not possible, that miracle's not possible. You know, health, healing, a soulmate, a relationship, a husband, a wife, my vision, ah, uh, you know, it's not really possible. And what's interesting too is sometimes we desire something, we want something, we feel something, but what I found is many times we're actually not even really open to it. We're actually not really open to it. We set these goals, we go to workshops, we have these intentions, but deep down, we don't really believe it's possible. We don't really believe it's actually available to us because we've given up or maybe you've been disappointed so many times or maybe you've done workshops or seminars or been in relationships and they haven't worked out. So you stop believing, you stop believing, you stop believing. Is there anywhere in your life you've either stopped believing or you don't really believe it's really possible? Like the song of Journey, I'm saying don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. It's possible because if you feel the dream, then there's a source of life. There's an energy and intelligence of life that has planted that dream and the seed for that intention in your heart for a reason. But you got to believe. 
You see, I grew up seeing blind people see and deaf people here. I grew up seeing my father, who was an incredible miracle worker in Africa, put his hands on a, you know, put his hands on a woman who was in a wheelchair and say, stand up. And she would say, but I don't believe. And he would look at her and say, stand up. And she would say, but, but I, I'm crippled. I don't believe. He would say, stand up. And this would go on for about 10 minutes. And he would look at her and he would say, do you believe? Do you believe in the good books? Do you believe in the Holy Scriptures? Do you believe in all the information that greats like Gandhi and Buddha and Jesus and all the greats talked about? Do you believe? And she would say, yes, I believe. And he would, my father would ask her then, why are you sitting down? Why are you sitting down in that wheelchair if you believe? You're not sick. I see the true reality of who you really are. If you believe, stand up. And she stood up. And I grew up, I was privileged as a kid to literally go up seeing blind people, seeing deaf people here over and over and over again. The sick, the lame, the deaf, those who had cancer and disease, all sorts of mir miracle manifestations. I grew up seeing that. But what I realized, what I realized, the real gift that my father had, what I realized that the real gift that each person met him into and believed in was they believed. There came a point where they decided to believe. Do you believe? What's the miracle that you might think is impossible for you right now? What's the miracle that you feel from the deepest depth of your heart that you're here to create experience that you want to experience? whether it's freedom, whether it's greater self-expression, whether it's forgiveness, whether it's compassion, whether it's manifesting money, whether it's experiencing your soulmate. What's the miracle that you want to experience in the depth of your heart right now? Because what I know, what I know for sure and what I've gotten to experience and witness in Bali on the Boundless Bliss Bali process is it's possible. That I know. It's possible. But you got to be open. You got to be open. Openness is the key and receptivity is the key to manifesting your miracle. I remember being going in a liquor store in LA one time to get some water and I saw a beautiful Mexican woman with five children and she was buying, you know, lottery tickets. She was buying all these lots she must have bought like twenty dollars worth of lottery tickets. And I saw her, you know, scratching the lottery tickets and I said, Good luck. I said, you know, it's a hundred million dollars. You can do a lot with a hundred million dollars, so good luck. And I remember her saying to me, Oh, I'm not gonna win. Ah, I'm not gonna win. And I was thinking to myself, why are you buying $25 worth of lottery tickets if you've already predetermined and decided that you're not going to win? And energetically, she wasn't even open. And many of us go through life, we want something, we want a partner, we want a life partner, a husband, a wife, we want to manifest that dream, but deep down we don't believe it can happen. We're not open, we're, we're energetically closed. One of the keys to manifesting a miracle is being open and receptive and letting go of how you think it needs to happen, how you think it should happen, how you think it must happen, the package, the form, the person you think it needs to happen and come inside of. Sometimes our, my, your mind will limit you with all these limitations and specifications of how your miracle needs to manifest. And your miracle and the infinite is way bigger than your mind, is way bigger than anything you can currently imagine. And one of the keys to manifesting a miracle is not only being open, but completely surrendering to the universe, surrendering to the highest good, so that the universe can give you what you need, when you need it, how you need it, in the form you need it, which might surprise you. But I guarantee you, if you're willing to surrender that big, if you're willing to surrender that big, then often the outcome is way beyond anything you can imagine. And we often think, you need to manifest your miracles. You need to make them happen. You need to manifest them. Well, I say, you don't need to manifest your miracles. You don't need to manifest anything. Because everything in existence and consciousness is already manifested. Everything is already manifested right now in consciousness and is here available to us right now. All you really need to do is simply remove the illusions, remove the blocks, remove the limitations, remove the false perceptions that prevent you from seeing the miracle available right now, that prevents you from seeing the miracle of yourself, and that prevents you from being fully open to the miracles that the universe is often seeking to bless and shower upon you. The journey in Bali is a miraculous journey. The journey in Bali 
is such a journey where I assist you in peeling away the illusions, the mind friction, the BS, the old stories, the old conditioning, the old patterns, because we're locked into a certain shape of conditioning that then constricts you and prevents the full expression of your heart and grace from flowing. This journey assists you in peeling those layers away so that you can get in touch with the miracle of who you are and be open to the miracles that are available right now. And then all you do is you bring yourself into alignment with the flow that's already happening and you will find that miracles are already waiting for you right now. So I want to ask you this, are you open? Are you willing to surrender to the highest good? Are you willing to let go of what it needs to look like? Are you willing to trust bigger than your mind? If so, I invite you on this journey of boundless bliss. If so, I invite you to what I promise you will be a miraculous journey, a miraculous journey beyond anything you can ever imagine. Are you ready for your miracle? If so, say yes, and I will see you in Bali. I'll see you soon. Look around, look around. Look around. Love you lots.